Welcome friends. Thank you for joining in as we study God's word together. We want to talk about some of the things in scripture that give us power and that have power so that we can walk our lives powerfully um in Jesus Christ and be victorious uh in everything that that uh, you know we need to do in our lives. So today I want us to consider the gospel. The gospel simply means good news. Good news that God has saved us. Good news that God deeply loves us and good news that God's love uh is a love that paid a very heavy price for us. It's true love because it's sacrificial love. So as we look at this good news that the Lord Jesus himself became the atoning sacrifice for us through whom we are now forgiven we can now have a right relationship with God because of whom we have eternal life now as we consider this um sometimes it causes us to wonder why did God choose this path or this direction to give us salvation couldn't there have been a different way of um making this possible for mankind redeeming mankind from the evil corruption of sin which exists in the world but here is the reality you know scriptures tell us and i quickly want to read for us a couple of verses romans chapter 1 verses 16 and 17 for i am not ashamed of the gospel of christ for it is the power of god to salvation for everyone who believes for the jew first and also for the greek for in it the righteousness of god is revealed from faith to faith as it is written the just shall live by faith and this is something that apostle paul wrote to the roman church is reminding them of the gospel of christ the good news of the lord jesus christ and this is what he adds to it he says it is the power of god to salvation to everyone who believes somehow even though it seems mysterious um uh, why god chose for jesus to pay the price for us in such a way the gospel is the power of god it has the power of god to save people to uh, help them receive salvation we have another scripture from 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 24 which again says but to those who are called both Jews and Greek Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God so Christ is the power of God and the wisdom of God you know in a simple language uh, we can say that Christ Jesus is god's best idea for the problem of sin and uh, uh, through his sacrifice you know we uh, have received salvation and also eternal life now this is the power of god when we share about the love of jesus with someone we might wonder if they will be able to comprehend and um, receive what we are speaking to them but here is the reality God has made all of us as spiritual beings. So, uh even though there might be times when people uh want answers to their questions, the gospel is more than just an intellectual message. The gospel is a spiritual message and as we share the gospel, the good news about the Lord Jesus, we can be assured that it is making an impact. in the lives of people because this is what the word of god tells us it tells us that the gospel of christ is the power of god to salvation for everyone who believes we have been given the power in the gospel message so don't be ashamed of it uh, speak forth confidently knowing that for those who believe this message is a message of power able to save their souls 
unto eternity let's pray together heavenly father we thank you for the gospel lord we thank you that it is the gospel which has saved us oh god and it is the power of god unto salvation for everyone who hears and everyone who believes enable us oh god to to preach the gospel the way you commissioned us in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org